I'm in Brook Street EC1 just off the north side of Holborn, more or less at the start point of run three of the Knowledge of London, which is Chancery Lane Station, down to Rolls Road off Old Kent Road in South East 1. I'm going to be running this, leave on the left Holborn, left Charterhouse Street, right Farringdon Street, forward Ludgate Circus, forward New Bridge Street, forward Blackfriars Bridge, forward Blackfriars Road, left Southwark Street, right Southwark Bridge Road, left Marshalsea Road, forward Great Dover Street, comply the Bricklayers Arms Roundabout, leave by Old Kent Road, left Rowcross Street, Rolls Road, left and right. Up until fairly recently this would have gone right at Holborn Circus, down New Fetter Lane, St Andrew Street, Shoe Lane and Stonecutter Street, but they've closed Stonecutter Street off fairly recently. Three entrances to Chancery Lane Station, one on either side of Grays Inn Road, where it meets the Holborn, High Holborn Junction, and one on the south side of um, High Holborn, where it becomes Holborn, just behind that map corner where the NatWest Bank is just over there. So away I'm going to go, leaving on the left in Holborn when I turn out of Brook Street. So leaving on the left Holborn, Prudential building on the left designed by the great Alfred Waterhouse. Did a hell of a lot of stuff Alfred Waterhouse principally known for the Natural History Museum down here and Manchester Town Hall up in um, Manchester, yeah that's it. I think it did Strange Ways Prison as well, Alfred Waterhouse. Sainsbury's headquarters on the right. That was the Daily Mirror building on that exact same footprint. Robert Maxwell used to land his helicopter on the roof and subject his visitors to a character test by inviting them to join him in taking a piss off the roof onto the pedestrians below. Not really sure what type of character test that involves, but um, we are talking about Robert Maxwell. Ely Place on the left, quite a lot of things down there. And De Beers Diamond Merchants on the left. Vivac Bacchus Wine Bar Restaurant thingy on the right, entrances to that, both here in Charterhouse Street and around the corner in Farringdon Street. And ahead of us, Smithfield Meat Market. And that little silver griffin over there indicates that the City of London starts at that point. They muck about with a lot of lights, TfL, but as long as I've been a courier, this has always been a straight 60-10 light. 60 seconds of green going up Farringdon Street into Farringdon Road, and precisely 10 seconds on this Charterhouse Street. Arm of the junction. Right into Farringdon Street. Fable there on the left, just in West Smithfield, under Holborn Viaduct, Winemakers Club on the left. Harold and Sons on the left, opposite Stonecutter Street, and the Italian consulate on the right moved there fairly recently. You can normally set that on the right because normally you can get through the bike parks in the middle. It looks as though they might be building a central reservation all the way there, which would mean you could only set that on the left. Cross Ludgate Circus into New Bridge Street. Baker Mackenzie's on the left. They used to be a blinding account when they were in the Old Witch. They now pay 145 minimum as for a city to city job. No wonder everyone who was a courier is becoming a pizza boy or sushi delivery driver or something. And that building on the right used to be Clifford Chance's headquarters back in the 80s. I think they had another one in Gresham Street as well. Anyway, the Crown Plaza London, the city on the right. You have to swing a turn around to set that down. The Blackfriar pub on the left. 
pain in the butt not being allowed to turn left on the Queen Victoria Street here. Another recent TFL innovation and Blackfriars Station on the left as we go across on Blackfriars Bridge. From where Roberto Calvi was found hanging, what was that, 82 that was, just after the Banco and Rosiano went bust. All sorts of Masonic conspiracies surrounding that. Doggett's Coat and Badge pub on the right, again you'd have to spin around to set that on the left and Ludgate House on the left, that was the Daily Express building for many years. I mean I call that the Grey Lubyanka, it was called the original building on Fleet Street, the Black Lubyanka. They don't call the current Daily Express building the Blue Lubyanka, which is very disappointing as Richard Desmond owns it. They call it the Asian Vape Lubyanka, or the Channel X Lubyanka I suppose. Left into Southern Street. Pulse nightclub immediately on the left, regarded as the best of the larger gay nightclubs in the middle of town. I think they've still got that XXL club in there on a couple of days a week for um, the bear community, if you're gay and you think that um, Ron Jeremy is the epitome of male beauty, then um, you'll do well looking for a pickup in there. Tall House restaurant on the left they do ask sometimes, and the Kakuldi Testing Museum on the right they ask that as well. Bluefin building on the left, the IPC magazine's headquarters. Now they recently moved out of King's Ridge Tower, which is just to the west of Blackfriars Bridge on Stamford Street. When I started as a courier, the whole of IPC was in Tower House in Southampton Street, which is about seven floors high. And not much more than um, a couple of knocked together Georgian houses, to be honest. Right in to Southwark Bridge Road. America Street on the right, Union Street on the left with the Island Cafe in the middle of it. Not sure what this council trash bag truck is going to be doing. Useful petrol station on the left. It used to be a BP that, but they reopened it and only closed it for a while as a shell. Left into Marshall Sea Road. Council truck doesn't indicate. What can you expect? I'm surprised the taxi driver did. Lord Clyde Pub on the left in Clenham Street. Disney Place on the left, absolutely nothing to do with Walt Disney. Need to get these lights because these are an absolute pig as we go past Borough Station on the right and into Great Dover Street with St George the Martyr Church on the left, Dover Castle Pub on the right. So that telephone exchange as was on the left, the beige brick building, you can still see the old telephone machines in there. It's not a telephone exchange anymore, as far as I know. No idea what they're going to be doing with it though. Past Pilgrimage Street. Roebuck Pub on the right corner of Trinity Street. You can't get into Trinity Street anymore, they've made that bicycles only. More expensive student accommodation on the left hand side of the road. And as a result of that being there, the Black Horse Pub on the far corner of Black Horse Court is now almost entirely a student venue. The unofficial student bar, it says, outside. Down to the Bricklayer's Arms roundabout. Tower Bridge Road on our left, New Kent Road, the third and final exit off this roundabout. We're going to be going down Old Kent Road though. Tower Bridge Care Home in front of us. I think the main entrance of that is still in Aberdour Street, I should know that. Left. As we leave the Bricklayer's Arms into the Old Kent Road.
expensively uh, renovated council flats on the left, one are in flats, the first one, Kingsley flats, and the second. And there's Dover flats, which are the last of the three ex-council blocks on the left in Old Kent Road. The Euro Traveller Hotel on the right, how the hell anyone would want to put a hotel up on the Old Kent Road, I really don't know. Euro Traveller Premier Hotel, no less. Anchored at the lights at Surrey Square, which is a difficult point to get into. we go. Dun Cow Surgery on the near corner of Dunton Road. Used to be a pub that. But uh, the Mohammedan community has very little use for pubs. And past Humphrey Street, Rolls Road, just down there on the right. We can't get into it from there. Because it's one way at this end. Left into Road Cross Street. Old Kent Road Mosque and Islamic Cultural Centre on the right as we turn in. Bars on the windows. And they still bloody well get out. And there is Rolls Road in front of us, left and right. Left hand branch just leads down to Humphrey Street, right hand branch leads down to St James's Road. Run three of the Knowledge of London, Chancery Lane Station to Rolls Road. Leave on the left, Holborn. Left Charterhouse Street, right Farringdon Street, forward Ludgate Circus, forward New Bridge Street, forward Blackfriars Bridge, forward Blackfriars Road, left Southwark Street, right Southwark Bridge Road, left Marshalsea Road, forward Great Dover Street. Comply the Bricklayers Arms Roundabout, leave by Old Kent Road, left Road Cross Street, Rolls Road left and right. <laughs> 